Queen Elizabeth II made her final appearance just two days before her death when she appointed Britain's new Prime Minister Liz Truss on Tuesday. Her Majesty, has died aged 96, peacefully at her Balmoral home in Scotland. Just a few days prior, the monarch appeared at a historic ceremony which took place inside the green carpeted drawing room at Balmoral Castle, instead of at Buckingham Palace as per tradition. Live updates, a moment of great sadness, New King's tribute to Queen Elizabeth's photos from their meeting showed the 96-year-old happy and smiling however she appeared to have a heavily bruised hand. ITV's royal editor Chris Shipp previously told today the bruising was a sign of changing times in the Queen's advancing years. I'm nomadic but it could be some form of cannula that the Queen's had, we are guessing, Ship said. Shortly after the meeting with Truss on Tuesday, the palace announced that the monarch would miss a Privy Council meeting after being advised by doctors to rest. The meeting was scheduled to take place on Wednesday. After a full day, Her Majesty has this afternoon accepted doctor's advice to rest, a palace spokesperson said earlier this week. The Queen also missed the Highland Games event which was held on September 3 in Scotland. Read more, from assassination plots to making Arrow Guard famous, a look back on the Queen's visits to Australia Her Majesty had been staying in Balmoral since late July and had been visited by members of her family in the weeks since. The last time the Queen was seen in public was on July 15, when the she made a visit to Thames Hospice, Maidenhead in Berkshire. Her Majesty was joined by Princess Anne to open a new building. The Queen's passing comes after Buckingham Palace released a previous troubling statement saying that doctors had recommended the monarch remain under medical supervision. The news of her ill health emerged at about 1 p.m. Scottish local time, which was 10 p.m. for Australia. The death of the beloved monarch came just hours later, shocking the world.